So we can see the properties of Laplace transform. After studying, the students can get an idea of past series method to solve differential for equation familiar to Legrand equation and Legrand polynomial. And also they can understand the Laplace transform and learn complex numbers and their properties. First property, that is linearity statement. If Laplace transform of x1 of t equal to x1 of s with a region of convergence denoted as R1 and x2 of t is x2 of s with a region of convergence denoted by R2. Then a into x1 of t plus b into x2 of t, the Laplace transform for this quantity is given as a into x1 of s plus b into x2 of s with ROC containing R1 in union R2. Let us prove this. This is the Laplace transform of u is it of t equal to Laplace transform of u want to find this variable. Therefore, in the place of x of t, we are substituting in the normal formula, that is standard formula. And here, we have, since we are having two terms, we are splitting this into two terms and we are taking the constant term outside. Where a and b are the constant term, we are taking it outside. Now, we can apply the standard formula, that is x1 of s and plus x2 of s. Next, second property, time shifting property statement. If x of t, the Laplace transform of x of t is x of s with ROC equal to R, then x of t minus tau, the Laplace transform is e power minus st tau into dx of s with ROC equal to R. Here, the Laplace transform for this quantity equal to minus in minus infinity to infinity, that is x of t minus tau into e power minus st into dt. Now, let us take the substitution that the term inside the bracket we are taking this as p. And while we are substituting and we are converting in all in terms of p, and finally, we are getting that is we are applying the standard formula that is e power minus st into x of s next property shifting in s domain that the statement is if of x of t the laplace transform of x of t is x of s with roc equal to r then e power s naught into t x of t equal to x of x minus s naught with roc equal to r plus real of real part of s naught here the laplace transform of this quantity into equal to integral minus infinity infinity e power s naught t into x of t into e power minus s naught into t here we are combining this s term therefore by using the standard formula we can write this as x of s minus s naught hence root next one is time scaling statement if a laplace transform of x of t is x of s with roc equal to r then x of a t equal to 1 by modulus of a with x of s equal to s by a with roc equal to r1 equal to a into r first case that is, if, uh, if for a greater than 0, that is Laplace transform of x of a t, integral minus infinity infinity x of a t in e power minus s t into d t. Here, we are just taking the substitution that lambda equal to a t. Therefore, we are differentiating this term. Therefore, we are converting all in terms of the lambda. And we are substituting in this equation and taking the lambda, in the rearranging the equation and taking the constant term outside. We are getting the values 1 by a into x of s minus a hence second case if a is less than 0 that is let x of a t equal to integral minus infinity infinity x of a t in e power minus s t into d t by substituting that is lambda equal to a t that is d t equal to a d a into d lambda therefore by substituting all these values that is we are substituting all these values and rearranging this equation we are taking the constant and outside we can write this as minus 1 by a into x of s minus a therefore in the first case we are getting the positive and second case we are getting the negative therefore we can write this as 1 by modulus of a x of s minus a with ROC equal to r1 equal to k into conjugation property if x of t that is the laplace transform by x of t is x of s with roc equal to r then x conjugate of t equal to x conjugate of s conjugate with roc equal to r therefore we can prove that the laplace transform of x conjugate of t into equal to integral of x conjugate of t into e power minus st into dt we know that s is a complex variable and s equal to sigma plus j omega we are applying this condition in this equation and while we are simplifying that is we are splitting this term we are getting this value that is uh, e power my e power minus of sigma minus j omega t we know that this is the value for x conjugate therefore we can write this as x conjugate of s therefore we can write this as x of x conjugate of the whole conjugate this can also be written as x conjugate of x conjugate this is the question thank you